Hi everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Aton and today I will be showing you how to make a blood splatter transition that looks sort of like this. Okay, pretty cool and we can do this all inside After Effects, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are in a new comp. Now right click and make a new solid. I'm going to make this solid red or whatever color you want the blood to be, so probably red. Then type in film burn or burn film. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Now drag that on there. Then turn up the burn amount till you get a satisfying blood look. You can also play with the random seed so you get a pretty good looking blood splatter. So that's probably good. Now if you're not liking any of the results you're getting, you can basically invert it. So invert and then tint. Keep the blacks black and the whites red and then you'll get that. So before these two, that just sort of inverts it. So in case you're not getting good results the other way, you can always do that. But I'm gonna leave it without it, sort of like that. So that's, that looks pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is scale this up. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now go to the first frame and hit P and hold down shift and hit S. Now set the position here and a scale. Set a keyframe for both. Now for the scale you're going to want it to be 0%. But before it's completely 0 you want to make sure it's in a good spot. So there. 0. Make sure you type in zero because if you go in negative, it starts expanding the other way. So zero is important for that. Then say by like a few frames in, say five frames in, make this as big as you're going to want it. So probably like that. I'm going to change the position so it's like if you want it coming like depends on the direction you want it to go but say you want it to drip down have it at the very bottom and then over the next say like bunch of frames then you can just have it drip down like that and you're going to want it to drip down all the way and we're going to fix these edges in a minute so right now we have what looks like this looks cool but it's not it's definitely not perfect now one thing that's definitely gonna help sell this effect right away is let me just go back a frame here okay I'm gonna select my click on this layer select the pen tool and now just go a little around the inside and you get that now you're going to want to feather this a fair amount. And you'll get this. Which already is making it a lot better. So now just one thing to sort of help sell the effect that it's blood. Add an adjustment layer. And add a turbulent displace. And drag that on there and you as it is have this look sort of like it's dripping now you can change this so turn up the complexity a little now the amount the size all this you can turn up there dripping blood and you can use this to transition between two clips so you basically 
one thing you can do is keep duplicating this layer till at any given point and each time you duplicate it you're gonna want to change the random seed and then so at some given frame it's all covered in red and then during that frame you can quickly change the opacity of the two layers or just cut them right there split the layer and drag it over and that should that should work or you can just fade do like a crossfade between the two while this um while this is going on and it'll be a lot less noticeable because that's like that or if you just want a blood hit you don't have to use this as a transition so you can name this comp and then drag this comp in over top of whatever whatever else you're doing so thank you for watching this tutorial if you liked it please comment like and subscribe and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them and if you have any ideas for anything you'd like to learn how to do in After Effects please also leave that in the comments and I will try to make a tutorial on it if I know how to do it so thank you for watching and I hope you learned something